Hello everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus 7 with the most incredible bleed build you can create before the DLC comes out. The build I'm going to show you today is so broken that even in max scale in New Game Plus it destroys the bosses in seconds like we were just in our first playthrough. This happens because bleed is a percentage based status effect which means that with the larger amount of HP the target has the more damage you will deal. For instance in a target with 5000 HP you will deal only 750 damage for each bleed proc and in a boss with 20,000 HP you will deal 3,000 damage with each bleed proc which in my opinion it is a huge amount of damage and even more combined with the base damage you are dealing in every attack. If you are looking to break the difficulty of the game while using a phone build this setup is definitely a great choice for you. Even though this is a bleed based build it will perform incredibly good against targets and enemies that don't bleed because of the amazing strength and arcane scaling of the gargoyles twin blades when using bleed affinity. The best part of this build is that it is extremely easy to use, literally you just have to jump and attack until your target disappears. That's why I decided to record this video on New Game Plus 7, otherwise it would have been so simple. You will obtain the Gargoyles Twin Blade after defeating the Valiant Gargoyles boss fight on the Sea of a River. You can get only one of them each run, so to obtain the second one you have to defeat the Gargoyles again in New Game Plus or ask a friend to drop it for you. Not much further to say about this combo, it is insanely powerful, simple and is not going to lose performance with New Game Plus scaling. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using two gargoyles twin blades on plus 25 with the crack blade dash of war on the blood affinity and anything we have available to cast our main buffs. I'm gonna be rocking the bandit set with the raptor's black feathers to boost my jump attacks and the white masks to increase my damage with bleak procs. The most effective talismans for this build are the ritual sword talisman, the claw talisman, the rodent wings or insignia and the lord of blood's exultation. However the Millicent's prosthesis is a great alternative when you face targets or enemies that don't bleed at all. In our flask of wondrous physique we will use the thorny crack tier and the strength knot crystal tier. But the green spill crystal tier is a pretty good option as well. With this build we are going to deal only physical damage, therefore the best body buff will be blood boil aromatic, but in case you don't enjoy crafting you can use Hall of Shabriti perfectly fine, it's pretty much the same. In order to get the max performance of this build we need 40 on vigor and 35 on endurance. We must level up strength to 70, fate to 60 and arcane to 60. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriti are going to be our main buffs. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Hey there Margit. Bad idea homie. Oh, terrible idea. Oh, terrible idea. <laughs> 16k damage on this guy dude, that's a lot. Hey there man. Hey yo! Oh, the iframes! I knew it! Oh, oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> that is a lot of damage, guys. Give it to me, bro. Show me your best. Oh, we did it! <laughs> nice! Use your spear, bro. Use your spear. Nice. Nice. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea, bro. Nice, guys. Wow, that thing of the spear is a new one, bro. <laughs> nice. On the wrong side, bro. That's cheating. Oh my god, the damage, guys. Cool. Oh, we did it. Holy. <laughs> nice. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> I know it was gonna happen like that, baby. Let's go. Nice. Nice, this is perfect. Nice, baby! <laughs> Finally, bro. It took me a few tries, guys. I don't know why. Come on.
Oh my god, no way. No way! No way! Come on, give it to me. Let's go, baby! It was so fast! That's the most interesting thing. It can be better, but I'll take it. Okay, guys, this is the buff routine. It's so simple. Golden Vow first. You can use your pickle turtle neck, but it's not necessary. I will use it because I like it. Now, first, you have to use Crack Blade in your left hand weapon. And then you can use your Physic. And you can use Blue Ball Aromatic. Refill your FP. And use Crack Blade again. And you're ready to go. So now let's begin with this one. And you have to time your attacks very well in order to deal the more, the more, more, the higher damage possible. And nice, 37! Oh my god, 37k, bro! That's insane! <laughs> nice, dude. Have to dance for you to come, man. What the hell? Nice, baby. He's not going anywhere. Dude, the first phase was so random. <laughs> Bro! Wow, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice, come on. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> hey Monk, give me my DLC. Oh my God. Monk in four hits! Four hits! 30k damage guys! What? Well four attacks, but it's impressive still, bro. Come on. No bad idea, bro. No. Oh! No way! <laughs> I missed one and the, and the other one was more than enough, bro. Wow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we did it! Nice. Oh, <laughs> it was really good, guys. Oh, nice.
No way, it's possible, guys! It's possible to defeat Placidus Axe before the second phase in New Game Plus 7 with this build, bro. Wow! No, 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 no.